Oh. Let us leave this clearing, Lord. This black rock is permeated with evil. Verbum omnia creavit in verbi nomine te aperi. Look, sire. Your twin brother. These crystals bear my brother's sign. It is another of his tricks. This crystal encloses a rose. I cannot pick it. Up to now, I doubted your existence, Doppelganger. Ganger. I must admit that my brother is a great sorcerer. So, you are Bradwin. It will be a pleasure to take your place, Gordy Kinnan. What do you mean? Morganor's plot is coming to its climax. Now I, or rather you, will kill King Arthur in front of all of the Knights of the Round Table. You are somewhat hasty. I am still alive, and you would seem to be a captive of this pentagram. If you are here, it is by Morganor's will. He has done it all so that you would come here at this time for me to take your place. With me alive, you will never leave this pentagram. You, Bradwin, are the one who will get me out of it. Never. I will never let you kill Arthur and sully my honor in this way. You have no choice, Bradwin. You are lost. You speak well, as did your master, the devil. But now I have defeated him, and the same fate awaits you. What are you saying? Come closer, as I cannot hear you. Come closer, I say! Your brother Melitus died because of you. I freed his soul from the devil, and if you accept, I can save you. Save my soul. But I have no need of it. I am invincible. No adversary can resist me. No one can vanquish me. Tell me where Queen Guinevere is. As long as I am in this pentagram, you will never find Guinevere. Free me, and I will show you the Queen just before I kill you. Why do you serve my brother? He is a great sorcerer. He is much more powerful than you can imagine. If you must cause my downfall, return to the land of the dead. If you must cause my downfall, return to the land of the dead. You will never find Guinevere! If you must cause my downfall, return to the land of the dead. If you must cause my downfall, return to the land of the dead. Ha! You will never find Guinevere! If you must cause my downfall, return to the land of the dead. Ha! You will never find Guinevere! Ha! You will never find Guinevere! Ha! You will never find Guinevere! You will never find Guinevere! I cannot pick this rose. Offer me proof of your love, and I will be yours. Let us return to Camelot, sire. We have beaten the doppelganger.
Greetings to you. I am Bradwin, a knight of the High King Arthur. On your way, you're not welcome in Camelot. Let me enter. I cannot let you enter. Listen, you mighty fool. I bring the High King proof of Lancelot's innocence. Uh, well, enter then. Charity, my lords. Be charitable and God will reward you for it. Greetings. Gentle lord, I am hungry. I am cold. What do you want? A small donation, lord, and I will be able to eat and protect myself from the cold. Here, take this coin and make good use of it. May God bless you. Bring back the lost flower, and justice will flourish. Greetings to you. I am Bradwin, a knight of the High King Arthur. Well, well. This is the first time that I've seen a guilty man come to hear his own judgment. What nonsense is that? <laughs> At this moment, even the King of the Atrobats is providing the High King with proof of your treason. If you hurry, you may arrive in time to hear the royal sentence. Bradwen finally met the High King Arthur in the seat of chivalry, the room with a round table. Your servant has failed. He has returned to the land of the dead. Here is the heart and soul of the plot, sire. Beware, he is armed. Justice will be done. I have the proof of Lancelot's innocence. Out of my sight, traitor! A king of the Atrobats will not speak with a felon! Greetings to you, Arthur, High King of Britain. May God protect you. You have disappointed me, Bradwin. Though I will not condemn you without hearing you first. Novellius has spoken in your defense. You speak now. On my honor, I am innocent of the crimes of which I am accused by my brother. Your brother has just said the same thing to me. Explain yourself. Lancelot is innocent. With his sorcery, my brother obtained the services of a doppelganger who, with Lancelot's appearance, carried off the queen. I fear that you are as Merlin now, Bradwin. You believe in the old legends of Britain. The time of tales and legends is ended. I accuse my brother, present here, of the murder of my family, and I ask that justice be done. Justice needs proof to be done, Bradwin. I am a fair king, and not a tyrant. In the name of the Sword of Truth, I swear my innocence. It is forbidden to draw one's sword from the scabbard in this place, Bradwin. Except this rose. What would you have me do with the rose? Offer it to your lady. Take it, sire. This rose is at the heart of the kingdom and of the plot conceived by my brother. Ah, my patience has limits, Bradwin. Ah, Guinevere, my love. There you are. What has happened? Lancelot is innocent. It was the king of the Atrobats who carried me off. And your valiant knight, Bradwin, saved me while you remained sitting on your throne looking at my servant girls. Fine, fine, Guinevere. Let me do my duty as king. Bradwin, Morganor, God himself will settle your differences. He will grant strength to the just. If either of you wishes to admit his crimes before the ordeal of the duel, let him speak now. May the devil take me if I do not succeed in killing this bastard with my sword. Oh, 
And so it was that Bradwin triumphed over his brother Morganor. Justice had been done. I was sure that Bradwin would win the duel. He is a true knight and not a sorcerer like his brother. And then? The days that followed were Bradwin's happiest. Arthur made him a knight of the round table and king of the Atrobats. After all, he was the last of the royal line. And Lady Lutis? Lady Lutis joined Bradwin in Camelot and great festivities were organized to celebrate their union. And then? Bradwin and Lady Lutis remained in Camelot for some time. Then they left for their kingdom. There, new adventures awaited the king of the Atrobats. What a shame that I did not live in Bradwin's time. I too would have liked to become a knight of the round table and go out on all of those quests. One day, your life too will be the stuff of legends. But now, it is time to return to your apartments. On one condition, Master Fook. And what is that? Tomorrow, you tell me the adventures of Bradwin the King when he returned to his kingdom. Unfortunately, you will have to be patient for a few months. I haven't yet finished the chronicles of King Bradwin. In that case, tomorrow you will tell me the adventures of the other Bradwin, the Celt and worshipper of the great goddess. Very good. Beginning tomorrow, you will hear his adventures. And if you have some time, I may yet tell you some of the adventures of King Bradwin. Bradwin, after being made king by Arthur, returned to his lands and took possession of them. <laughs>